container terminal provides a facility for the import and exports of containers. So it's, it's providing for the importers and exporters of South Australia, but also providing facilities so that ships can move into the container terminal and be satisfactorily unloaded and loaded. Around 350 to 400,000 containers move through the container terminal every year. In 2002, we recognised that the cranes really weren't good enough. With the new ships coming in that were longer, higher, larger, that we started to think about the process of replacing them. But they're 12, 13 million dollars each, so it's not a decision you take lightly. The cranes affected the operational schedules because the reliability wasn't there that we needed to get. The cost of maintaining those cranes was significant. The cranes were no longer able to service effectively the larger ships that were being put on the runs in, into Australia. When we realised that we had to do something and we had the support of the board, a group of manufacturers were shortlisted. A project group from the terminal went overseas and inspected the manufacturing plants. In choosing a supplier, we were really concerned about the supplier's manufacturing capability, the durability of their supply chain and their ability to manufacture a quality product. Of importance was the feedback from employees on how we could better our current cranes. We spoke with other terminals from around the world and asked what their experiences were. Internally we have fantastic engineering skills, but if you think about the duration, I mean, it is quite involved. So we engaged Jacobs, a large engineering consultancy firm to help us with that. We selected Lieber. They had a first class manufacturing facility. They used tier one suppliers from around the world. They have a very robust and mature supply chain. Lieber partnered with a local engineering firm, Inver Engineering. Inver was a good fit for the terminal. They're a well-respected contractor and we've worked with them for many years. The best way to start this whole journey and in planning for the cranes was to bring in our crane operators, allow them to put forward all their thoughts, all the type of things that they would be looking for based on what they've learned from the use of our own cranes. And one of the initiatives that came out of that was to come up with a training simulator, which was a simulated version of the crane while the new ones were still being built. In the simulator, you're immersed within our operation. You can actually see our whole container terminal operating around you. It's that feel of everything that's going on, that situational awareness, which actually is contributing to the safety side as well because it is that situational awareness that operators must have when operating these cranes. When the ship delivered all of the crane componentry, there was a combination of terminal employees plus contractors working together. And I think that mix of qualifications and experience worked really well for us because we were able to assist them and they were able to get everything off safely and in good time. Finding an area which was not going to cause too many delays to the terminal operation was very important. We're looking for an area of approximately two hectares. The plan was to do as much work as possible at ground level. It's a lot easier than it is working at heights. The engineering team monitor the progress of the assembly daily. It's very important to maintain that across the assembly build. On this job, every lift is engineered, the appropriate size of the crane, the outreach, the balance, the lifting points. Lifting big items is an important task and one that has to be done safely. Moving the cranes from the assembly area to the wharf is a logistical challenge. It's a distance of about 200 metres. The cranes themselves will reach 105 metres when their booms are raised. And we've actually selected a self-propelled mobile trailer which can accommodate the loads and also the undulations in the ground and make the moves possible in a safe way. We currently move around about between 22 and 24 containers an hour. The new cranes will give us a productivity level of up to 30 to 34 moves per hour. That means that we will be able to service ships quicker, and when you're talking about serving quicker and having more time to sail, 
That's what shipping lines are all about. They're about reliability, knowing they can get in and out on time. The important thing that this terminal gives to the legacy of all of its employees and the community as well in the state is that we now have a very modern container terminal that can deliver a good service. Now that's good for clients, it's good for exporters and importers in South Australia. And not only that, it also gives the employees at the terminal here some security going forward. They know that if this organisation is prepared to invest in the terminal, it's an investment in their future as well. Thirteen years ago, we had a vision to build a container terminal that was world class. We've now got two new cranes. We are gradually achieving the vision that we had all those years ago. So for me, it gives me enormous satisfaction to see the progress we've made and I very much look forward to the next few years as we further improve the terminal. Once that's done, I'll be a very happy man.